Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. This is a mega MIT485 insulation resistance testing meter. This insulation resistance testing meter for mega includes resistance, capacitance and voltage. For insulation resistance testing it has ranges 50 volt, 100 volt, 250 volt, 500 volt and 1000 volt ranges and it has a maximum measurement range of 200 giga ohms. To put that in perspective, the Fluke 1507 has the same insulation resistance testing ranges, but its measurement capability is limited to 10 giga ohms. So let's go and take a look at this mega insulation resistance testing meter on the bench. This is the mega MIT485. Its measurement functions are capacitance, resistance up to one mega ohm, continuity, 50 volt through to 1000 volt insulation resistance testing in a dedicated voltage measurement mode. This meter can also do time dielectric absorption ratio as well as polarization index measurements. The meter came with a set of test leads as well as a remote probe. The remote probe allows you to take a measurement when you can't physically reach the meter and press the test button on the meter. It also came with these two alligator clips. These alligator clips push on over the top of the probes. Mine came with a broken corner on the test clip. Over time, test accessories do get damaged, but I would not have expected any damage out of the box. This tells me that the plastics used are probably quite brittle. Top of the meter includes your positive input jack, the remote probe input jack, as well as your common jack. Using the capacitance testing measurement function, I can estimate the length of this cable. This 15 meter long cable is measuring 0.8 nanofarad. From the capacitance measurement, it's estimating this cable is approximately 20 meters long. The meter really does not have the resolution to measure short cables like this. This capacitor is showing 1.5 microfarad. Using the ohms function, I'm measuring this 18 ohm resistor at approximately 18 ohms. I am connected to my workbench ground on the black lead. The red lead is connected to the earth panel of an electrical receptacle. With a test current of 205 milliamps, I'm getting a reading of approximately 1.1 ohms. The continuity beeper is also active. The same measurement on my Fluke 117 shows 0.7 ohms. I have now selected the 1000 volt range. This is the maximum voltage this meter will go up to. With the test lead shorted, I'm showing virtually no resistance. Using that same 1000 volt test voltage, I'm going to check to make sure my bench, which has a static dissipative mat, does actually have a path to ground. I do not have the equipment necessary to test the resistive properties of this ESD mat. This reading is only telling me that there is a path to ground. This test just demonstrates the need sometimes for a higher voltage when making a resistance measurement. Tests like this would be performed on say motor windings where you're looking for a breakdown in the insulation because of the extended measurement capability of 200 giga ohms. This installation test was ideal for long-term monitoring. The final function I'm going to demonstrate today is the voltage measurement function. I have this meter plugged into a 240 volt receptacle. It's reading 240 volts with a line frequency of 49.9 hertz. With the meter on this live circuit, if I switch to another function, the meter will beep and alert me that this circuit is live. It also enables test lockout. As you could see, I was not able to perform the insulation resistance test. This meter has a number of setup options. It is currently set to 10 ohms or less. Options can be changed by holding down the test button. This is now changed to 20 ohms. Pressing the test button again, I'm now cycling through to 1 ohm, 2 ohms, 5 ohms, and back to 10 ohms. I press the lock button to confirm. This is the test enable lock. With the lock setting on, the lock button is active when making measurements. If it is set to off, the lock button will not function. This sets the measurement current that will be used when making resistance measurements. I currently have it set to 200 milliamps. It can be cycled through 20 milliamps and 200 milliamps. For the automated test, this is the number of minutes that they will run. These are the distance units used when using the capacitance function to estimate the cable length. It can be set to metric meters or imperial feet. This function sets the measurement capacitance per meter. And finally, we have our Bluetooth set up. In summary, I really like this mega MIT485 insulation resistance test meter. 
having the measurement range extend all the way up to 200 gigaohms really sets it apart from other meters in this class. The Fluke 1507 for example has a maximum measurement range of 10 gigaohms. This meter is built in the UK and may have a good reputation for both quality and safety. For example from a safety perspective this meter will detect if the circuit is live or becomes live during a insulation resistance test measurement and terminate the test. The meter will not be damaged in this event. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Mega MIT485 insulation resistance tester. If you did enjoy this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.